Welcome back, ladies, gents, and my non-binary friends. Today, I'm going to be working on this beaver craft comfort bird kit. It comes with two blocks of wood, a knife. This is, uh, I guess, your regular basic whittling or carving knife. Um, a piece of strap, compound, and a few sandpapers, like your basic 150, um, 220, and 80, I believe. And it comes with a small little cap of wood finish that I don't know where I put. <laughs> but anywho, it also comes with this template. It was a longer sheet, but I cut it out so I could, uh, with transfer paper, transfer it onto the blocks of wood. So there's both faces of the bird and a profile shot. So there's many, many a ways to go about this bird. And I'm going to show you, I guess, one way of doing it. So you can go at it. Just off the block, straight with the knife, or you can take the block to a scroll saw or a band saw. And what I did is I took it to my good old trusty Becky, and you see all these little cuts and all this tape. So I cut out the profile. You see this part fell out? So I cut the profile of the bird, I take these sides back on, and then I cut out this profile of the bird. And what this does is it leaves in the middle the perfect profile of it, like a nice... A nice little shortcut to doing things. Those, these blocks are thick enough where you can probably use your band saw, use your scroll saw also. Um, they're not that big, so the scroll saw should work. Or you, like I said, you can use band saw. So yeah, I'm gonna carve it from here just to do a little shortcut and easier to show you guys. But yeah, this is one way, like I said, and it cuts all these parts out. And you can, you don't have to use tape. Some people use uh, hot glue, and you basically just glue the sides back on and then cut out the other profile and so on and so forth. If you want me to do that on a video, go ahead and let me know and I'll probably cut this, cut the profiles of this one on another clip or some, on another video, cut a different carving this the same way uh, on my band saw so you guys can get a get an idea what it looks like cutting profiles out. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to carving and hope you guys like it. Make sure you like this video, you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet for my beautiful voice and most of my carving work. And yeah, thank you.
Okay, so all done. And I'm gonna walk you through what we did. So we put, we transferred this design onto the square, right? And we talked about we can cut it out, uh, start cutting, cutting it out with the knife, or we can take it to the bandsaw or scroll saw, and then from there we start working on it. And that's what I ended up with. Look at that, I'm going to put it a little close to the camera here. Um, in the picture you can tell you can't see the wings very well. Some people just kind of round it out. But I wanted to give the wings uh, their own effect. You know, I didn't do that much detail on the tail. I just kind of gave it a curve. And I haven't put any finish. This is Cherry. Also, uh... I'll put the details on what comes in the box in the description and um, all that good stuff. But this is the end result. I was going to do little eyes, but I figured it would make it a little too cartoony. And I kind of like this very minimalistic, but very kind of realistic looking bird there. So that's the end result. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And like I've always said, if you have any anything you want to add, any uh, advice, uh, anything you guys want to want me to make, or questions, or all that good stuff, feel free to comment and let me know. So there you go. On to the next project. Help a girl out and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If not for me, do it for this face. How can you say no to this face? Look at that. Subscribe to my mommy's channel, please. Please. Help her buy me more milk bones. I only work for milk bones. <laughs>